we were looking for another restart here. We'll see if frustration settles in again and we <laughs> we just <laughs> we just on back. central powers attack we're first. Decide to roll with the punches. You could use the gas mask for the chicken. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> All right. Thank All you right. for your contribution, Fred. We have been, yes, I, have been, I have been informed by the admin that this will be the last time I restart, and if it uh, doesn't work, then we're just going to go live. Oh, boy. Seems like the Germans are attacking first, but we'll just go with it. And for the sake of time, you know, it's a small thing. It does make the game slightly more fair, but the game is pretty fair anyways. So, here we go. And we are live. Right. Looks like SMW immediately pushing straight out of their spawn. Cock getting a, quite a few kills, but SM, SMW answering back as well. A numbers advantage almost immediately for SMW, and they're going to spawn in close again. Large numbers here on the right side for them. Cucks need to recover here. Uh, Hachiman is just running away from anything resembling a uh, target to shoot at. SMW taking that right side of the trench very quickly. An interesting storyline here developing. To note that the player on SMW's side named Emo Syndicate is actually a cuck player and seems to have betrayed his team and is for some reason not leaving the other team to leave them down a player. In classic <laughs> cuck fashion. <laughs> In clash classic cuck fashion, he has cucked his own team. <laughs> Uh, Cucks with a big spawn uh, coming into the trench here. They might be able to take out Fabian, Banshee, and Arcana as they jump in. Although Banshee is dropping players left and right. Black Hand with a close range kill, and they're going to take the trench back. Yeah, no captures just yet, but some definite uh, back and forth fighting going on in the trench. Looks like SMW might be trying the other side of the trench here with CPU and Arcana uh, running towards that far side with that is mostly undefended although it looks like the cucks are transitioning over and it seems like uh emo did finally realize that he was helping the enemy team and left <laughs> <laughs> smw uh down a guy um we uh we might see that play into uh play into this match pretty significantly here if they're only seven on eight and definitely an interesting thing to note that for the PC match, SMW had 10 players, and now they can't even feel the full eight. Definitely <laughs> a, a drastic change for them. Pace seems to have slowed in this match as, the, uh, as SMW seems to be just kind of reeling at the moment. Uh, from the loss of their eighth player, uh, and the Cucks are uh, not doing a great job of staying spread out. It seems like they are they are a grenade away from from losing this trench here. Yeah, but SMW not very close to that trench, and they're not going to be able oh. to get a foothold over time. So it's going to be a Cuck on the attack now, with some artillery coming in last minute from Who Am I Blowing, killing some of those players on the left side that are trying to retreat back into their trench. Good artillery from him. We've seen good artillery from whom I belong pretty much the entire tournament. Definitely one of his st stronger skill sets as a player is placing those artillery barrages. Uh, and as the NCO, he is the only one that is uh, that is able to call in those airstrikes. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, so I did. Uh, I, I, I've, I'm sure players have noticed uh, that there is uh, actually a binoculars on the on NCOs. Uh, is that is that going to be used primarily for airstrikes? Uh, in competitive play, we don't usually see the binoculars used very much. Players usually have a good understanding of the places they want to place their airstrikes, and will place them quickly without using the binoculars. So it, it's usually... Uh, how is that? It looks like the game is bugged. I've got Haki Man shooting it. Oh, no, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. False alert. False alert, guys. <laughs> uh, I think that was failed attempt at... Uh no, you're right. There is oh, something no, a little you are strange. right. Yeah, yeah, There's I'm right. There's something yeah. a little yeah, yeah. strange going on with Hajiman having some trouble. <laughs> um, that's a little strange. Um, gonna have to just roll with it, though. You might want to uh, reconnect or disconnect and reconnect. Hajiman 
doesn't seem to uh, be able to kill or be killed. Uh, but he is certainly causing a stink over there. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. I'm not sure what happened, yeah. <laughs> that, was, uh, we that, are was gonna, a, that was a V-fart. We are awaiting a ruling from... Uh, <laughs> we are awaiting a ruling from an admin here. We might uh, we might be replaying this round with uh, this weirdness going on in the game. Um, what? I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in a competitive match. That is, this is very strange. It's working now. This is an unknown glitch. They're back on top. <laughs> Definitely, we will be sending a error report to the devs uh, after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like we may have. He is going to be relogging. Um, we'll see if we. Uh, it looks like we are going to play this round out. Although that is that is uh, a very strange little <laughs> occurrence right in the middle of a competitive match here. Um, I'm not sure if that favored the cucks. Or the uh, or SMW. Um, although it, uh, there was some complaints in chat over the fact that uh, Hachiman was an indestructible foothold at that time. Though he was just killed, so uh, it wouldn't was. have it wouldn't have counted much as a foothold because uh, he's in that artillery squad, so he can't spawn anyone, and it's still during normal time, so there's no foothold over time. So Good point. it won't have any uh, serious effect on the game, other than uh, maybe uh, spooking a few of the players. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Other than throwing us off. <laughs> okay, so we do have the Cucks trying to mount a, an attack here, uh, although they don't have many players in the field at the moment. And that's going to be SMW back on the attack, and we're going to see Cuck, a lot of their players step, uh, stuck on that left side of the No Man's, and SMW going to be able to maybe make a good push on this far right side, though we do have the Black Hand uh, holding down the fort here, but he's going to have to go against Banshee, Arcana, and CPU. Um... So it is very likely he'll go down. Luckily, he gets his teammates spawning right behind him. Right so as he gonna... goes down to Blackhand being one of the one of the standout players from yesterday uh, for SMW. Definitely, and look or from Cuck rather, and looking to be one of the stronger players right now as well with ten and seven kills matching the same as as Dragons can. And who am I blowing a number of kills? And I was gonna see, we're gonna we're gonna see some gas now from SMW coming in here. Right and on top of uh, Laban and Dragons can. Yeah. And that is going to be that level uh, 10, or not level 10, level 3 uh, mustard gas, which means that it, it will kill you very quickly if you don't have your gas mask on. And we are going to see um, uh, Danielle uh, kill Laban with that mustard mustard gas. And also dragon skin. So two players from Cuck going down to the mustard gas, and also a massive just area denial for that entire area of the map for them. So very good gas placement there by the SMW team. Looks like the Cucks are trying to spread their defenses back out after that gas attack. Uh, although it looks like Requiem of Light and Hachiman are both still in the middle of it. Uh, SMW trying to uh, form an attack uh, up on this hill. Although SMW does seem pretty exposed right there. Until C CPU clears him out of the trench. Yeah, and he's going to spawn in Overlord as well. And now Laban, the only one on this side. Everyone else stuck behind that mustard gas just coming through it now. Now we've got Arcana, Fabian, Banshee, and Overlord all taking that side of the trench. We'll see if they can uh, charge that gas side. Uh, and they are going to light. They are going to start to capture that trench, but we do see a large spawn coming from that left side from the cut side coming in. From that forest, it's going to be CPU to try and stop them. Banshee getting a nice crossfire, though, and Banshee's going to do some work here. Just cleaning up that Oh, side. wow. Yep. Banshee uh, turning around just in time to see to catch that spawn before they're able to make it away, make it uh, into the trench there. And that is going to be a cap for the SMW side. That is point number one in this third place match. Uh, from SMW, which, as a reminder, is down a player right now. We definitely saw Dragons Ken playing a little more in that picker role. He seems to be uh, a little more up front while Who Am I Blowing uh, staying up on the hill way back uh, away from the action. Um, 
Let's see what kind of success they're having. Dragonskin with 13 kills but 11 deaths, so not a great ratio there, but uh, holding up better than most of his teammates on the cuck side. That's yes, de most definitely, and Zephos pushing on this far left side. Actually, Black Hand will take out Danielle, so Zephos will get into that far left side, but Arcana going to take him out with that MP18. Arcana, a very strong MP18 uh, player, so definitely doing well with that with 10 kills so far. That's going to help once we get into some of the more close quarters battles and those later trenches. Right now, it's a little bit less useful at those long ranges, but it's still a, it's still a relatively effective weapon, uh, even at medium range. Arcana winning duels left and right. He just he just took out Black Hand on that right side. Yeah, and Cuck gonna come and start pushing through this forest and gonna have to come across this open field. There, there's a lot of crossfires on this open field. So they're gonna have to be very wary of that when they're crossing, try and take out some players before they cross. And Arcana. SMW doing very well considering they are also down a player. But Fabian and Banshee just, and CPU even, also playing very, very well. Fabian with an excellent long distance shot there. Uh, just about across the entire uh, width of the map. Danielle now, the only one on this far left side though, and it looks like Cuck might get in, but Danielle gonna take out Dragonskin. The rest of Cuck should be aware of her position now. Doomdringer gonna go in there and try and kill her. He's gonna get the stabbing kill on her. We'll see if SMW is able to hold the defense from within the trench here. Uh, Cuck only has two in at the moment, but if they can if they can get a couple kills, they might be able to hold, hold off long enough to get a spawn in there. Yes, and we've got some nice long-range shooting there from Overlord to take out Doom Drinker, Dragonskin as well. We're going to go down to CPU Enforcer. CPU currently in the lead with 17 kills and 10 deaths. Uh, represented on, or on, the, on the SMW side. Yeah, doing very well for himself. But Cuck gonna get a bit of a foothold here with a large uh, group of their team in that left side. But they're gonna go down pretty quickly as Arcana and Banshee sweep them up. Arcana coming in with the MP18, Banshee hitting those long range shots. And they're gonna clear him out. And five seconds for whom I'm blowing to get in there, and he's not going to, so that's going to be an, a, another attack for SMW. SMW just wanting vengeance for yesterday's loss against Tuck. It really seems like the uh, the experience of SMW is 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 coming into play here. You've made it sound like they're definitely a more uh, more experienced competitive team, while Cuck uh, spent most of their time in pub matches until recently. Um, well, I mean, SMW just seems to be reacting a little better and, and, and more composed in their strategies. Well, something that has to have a big effect on Cuck's performance today is that they don't have Kalinkadink, who is probably the most experienced competitive player on their team. So lacking him, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of experience and, and, uh, uh, gone from their team. That, that will definitely affect the, uh, the skill of their teamwork and also obviously Klinkadink, just a very good individual player. Uh, I believe he was the MP MVP for them yesterday. Uh, he was. So so not having him around is definitely going to be a big hindrance to them. And, and of course SMW having Banshee back again, which is just going to add to add to their power. We do have Storm Ninja over here all by himself, losing uh, to Doom Drinker uh, with the melee kill. And, and a very good gas placement here from SMW to completely neutralize that hell position that Cuck might be able to use, but now completely gone for them. And as soon as that gas disappears, SMW are going to rush onto that hill and with no contention whatsoever from Cuck. So great play from them. But Cuck are going to be aware of this, so they're going to try and maybe get into the gas and get on that hill. That way they'll have control of it once the gas does fade. Uh, Cuck staying true to their name um, in uh, in their shit talk. Uh, <laughs> Doom fist, <laughs> Doom drinker, uh, claiming uh, that that is how we do it in the hood, uh, in the middle of a World War One game. Uh, yeah, well, okay. hoods hoods were very different back then. Yes, they were very very different, but they still did it uh, apparently <laughs> like that. Uh, so. <laughs> For some reason, it seems the stream is down. One second. Oh, uh oh. I don't know. We're back. We're back. We're back. Sorry, okay, guys. We just... 
All right, just a, a short uh, technical difficulty there, and we are back. Uh, that was entirely Fred's fault. You can send emails to him <laughs> complaining about the production quality. <laughs> uh, uh, I should have apologize. I apologize. <laughs> We have uh, we have SMW still holding down uh, this lower part of the trench, while uh, while the Cuck team seems to have settled in really nicely up on that higher uh, higher ridge. Um, how do you think is best uh, to to weed out the SMW team down there because the Cucks need to build some momentum here? Yes, definitely. I think getting control of the hill has got to be the most important thing for them if they can. Uh, right now, Overlord is kind of fighting Zephos for that. If Zephos can win that fight. Uh, that's going to be big, uh, but Overlord really just kind of picking off anyone in that left-hand area from that hill, but he's gone down now. CPU going to try and rush to take his place. Uh, so basically this trench is whoever controls that hill is in the power position, basically. So they're going to want to try and... CPU going headlong into the far end of this trench, and Laban is going to be in trouble. And that's going to be a big spawn on that left side. Hopefully they're not too distracted by Laban, because they do have to deal with that. Arcana and Danielle going to be on the front line. Arcana going to go down very quickly, only taking one with him, and Danielle's going to be in trouble with Kill My Blowing and Requiem of Light. Right, Big, big right push there. there from the Cucks to retake that hill. Uh, they still have not been able to move any of those forces over towards Overlord, over towards Fabian, or by Banshee. Those guys have just been untouched for the last couple minutes here. Yeah, they're now going to move onto that hill and see if they can take some tight angles and, and try and take those players out without too much risk to themselves. Zephos going to be taken out by Overlord. Overlord can be a pretty aggressive player pushing up right here, up this hill. He's going to take out some players here. Might take out Hachiman too. No, Hachiman turns around just in time to take out Overlord there. But good play from him to clear the players off the hill. Again, that's the most important thing. SNW can sort of maintain this sort of position on this right side as long as uh, Cock don't have solid position over this hill. And Overlord again going to push straight up and try and just put some pressure on them. Nice double kill from Arcana there, although he went down to the black hand. But it does give Overlord and CPU control of the hell, and that's going to be a very big position for them to have. Of course, there's another spawn from Cuck on this side, and there's not going to be anyone from SMW to deal with that. Really, it just is, both teams is. doing a good job of making sure that the other team doesn't have control of the hill and sort of leaving this in a bit of a stalemate. Cuck, though, in a better position right now. Cuck has has retaken that has lost and retaken that hill I think three times now and uh, and again Fabian Fabian just went down finally Banshee just goes down with an excellent air and strike two here. seconds that that's gonna be, and and perfect timing too because Cuck is now gonna be able to go on the offensive having completely removed that foothold that was an outstanding the air strike there yeah no, no, definitely a, a very good artillery strike I believe from who am I blowing most likely or it may yeah it would have been who am I blowing he's the only one who could have called that in so very good timing from him and SMW having put all their uh, eggs in one basket on that attack not really having anywhere to go for this defense not having a good setup so Black Hand and Doom Drinker are already going to be in the trench on that right side Ziphos to follow them who am I blowing just hanging out in the middle of that field? He better start landing a shot. There we go. Okay. SMW trying to set up a defense, but uh, Cuck is keeping the pressure on. Yes, but SMW doing a good job of not having much of a defense set up there. They were kind of actually the ones on the attack there, or both teams kind of on the attack over the neutral territory of the trench, and SMW seeming to do all right in that fight. Seems SMW has control of the left side while Cuck still retaining control of that right side, though with a few less players than SMW has in the trench. And that's going to be a big spawn for SMW to make sure that Cuck doesn't have a chance of capping this trench right now. And they're going to clear that left side, and then they're going to be able to push straight on into the right and try and clear it out. And having some success, now up two players in the trench. But some more spawns for Cuck do come in, and now it's just Zephos. Hachi joining him. Just Zephos, though, now against Overlord and Banshee. He's going to have some trouble with that. He does take out Overlord, but he's going to go down to Banshee in the end. Good play there from Zephos, taking out several players. But CPU going to find Hachiman, and that's going to be a, a good uh, grace period now for SMW to set up uh, some defenses in that trench. Storm Jr. and Arcana are going to be outnumbered here. We'll see if they can get more kills. Oh, 
Storm Ginger goes down right away. Arcana gets no one there. And that's going to be the there left side open for Cuck. They're going to run in straight away, and a good arty strike to kind of prevent anyone from coming to reinforce that side. That may as well be a brick wall. Yeah, and his team is, is safe to push right through it, as there is no team damage on. In that sense, uh, artillery can act as a very good area of, of denial, uh, or denial of area tool, as SMW cannot go into that area, but Cuck can. And that's going to give them a strong foothold on this far left side from which they can mount their assault to try and capture this trench. And it does seem like they are capturing the trench right now, though, slowly, only at about 25% now. It's like they take oh, and a big spawn from SMW, even out those numbers. Yeah, they... Uh, Cock is still capping, albeit much slower now. Just about to reach 50%, probably at about 45, and their player is going down and down and down. And now SMW is recapping the trench. So no chance here for Cuck to capture this at this moment, unless they get a lot more players in. But they do have a bit of a spawn on the right side here, which only Fabian is watching. So if Doomdrinker, Laban, and Ziphos can get in there, but it seems like Fabian has spotted them. And being one of the better pickers for that team, he's not going to be too worried about having to face those three players at one time. But Blackhand and Who Am I Blowing still on that left side, holding it down. And a lot of uh, SMW players going down between the two pushes from Cuck. In fact, Doom Drinker almost going to make it to kill Danielle, but Fabian going to deal the blow. Caught him just in time. And spawning a bunch of players as well. <clears throat> Cuck's still holding that uh, that right side. Uh, although they the, they are only able to spawn, it seems, you know, two, three guys at a time on the other side, and they just continuously get wiped by Banshee and, uh, and, and CPU who have set up defenses over there, although they seem to be transitioning more of those defenses uh, to the Cucks that are holed up on the far side away from them. Yeah, just a really back-and-forth fight here now. Uh, of course, SMW are going to be happy just holding this trench because they are in the lead right now. Um, whereas the Cucks do have to capture that trench and then keep attacking in order to maintain a lead in this half. And, and with only three minutes left, it's very likely that we'll see this half either be a win for SMW or a tie. It seems very unlikely that uh, Cuck could bring it back and get another capture. In fact, I don't Cucks think it's possible. Cucks need to move fast. Yep. Math is working against them right now, but they can still bring this back to tie it, but they just need to get that, uh, that, that four, five, six player wipe. Uh, before they can make a move like that, and they just haven't been landing enough shots when they get into the trench. Yeah, and always one player from SMW is able to survive and just spawn in the rest of their team. That's the power we're seeing of that recon squad they have, uh, just being able to spawn in a bunch of players, and, and good uh, good NCOing by Danielle to just make sure she stays alive most of the time in order to spawn her uh, her squad. Arcana going to come in behind Requiem of Light, and that's going to... Oh, a lot of players dead for SMW, though. Arcana the only one up. Arcana the only chance, one in that trench. This is a good chance for Cuck, Cuck to capture. In fact, they're at about 75%, 80 now. They're about to capture this unless SMW can get in ASAP. SMW making and a counter gonna, push right here. And that's oh. going to be a capture. Tie up the game. SMW going to want to try and get a cap in before the time runs up. They should. They can still get one more cap and be up. Uh, yep, one trench. But only Arcana left in that trench, and Arcana from that gas squad not going to be able to spawn his team. Actually able to spawn Danielle, probably uh, because just, they have an attack order there. Some of the sometimes gas squads can spawn their teammates if there is an attack order in their position. We are at a tie game here with just under two minutes to go in the match. Uh, it seems uh, it, it is mathematically un impossible that Cuck um, takes the lead here. Is that true? Yeah, that is true, because we do have two minutes left in this defend cycle, which means that match time will run out before this defend cycle is over. But SMW could get a capture, and if they had a very dominant performance in the next minute and a half. Our cannon Storm Ginger taking that far side of the trench. We'll see if they can hang on to it long enough here. They have to, they have to kill at least two to one here. And Arcana's got to be the MVP right now with, well, not necessarily 35 kills, though, uh, and causing a lot of disruption. Not the highest fragger on his team, but causing a lot of the most disruption probably within the ranks. And this could be a recap for SMW if they can push all their players into that left side. We already saw one clutch move from, uh, from the Cucks. SMW could return the favor. 
They need to be careful about pushing to that right side, though. That is the land of the cuck right now. And they are holding on to that with their life. And a little bit of capture has started for SMW, but it's not enough yet. The long range shots from Arcana taking down a few more players. Still not we capturing. Are... Still not enough players in there for SMW. The end game music has started to play, but still 30 seconds. SMW could get a capture, especially after spawning a large number of players in. They have six players in the trench at this point. To the, I believe, four or five of Cuck. Cucks so are taken out with gonna several have to, grenades. Yeah, and that's gonna probably, yeah, Cuck are recapping the trench. This is not gonna be a cap for SMW. It is gonna end the half in a tie game. So very good play from both teams. It looked like SMW off to a very, very strong start capping that trench and looking like they might've even capped the second one. But SM, uh, but Cuck bringing it back to recapture their starting trench and bringing it to a tie in the first half of this match. Uh, that was a hell of a match. That was back and forth after after seeing a few one-sided matches the last few rounds here. Uh, that was an exciting one. Uh, we saw some big, big plays. Uh, big, big numbers coming from Fabian at 49 kills. Uh, big numbers from Arcana with 38. Big numbers from Who Am I Blowing with 36. I still got to say that with a straight face. And an interesting um, thing to note is that the fragging for SMW was much higher throughout the entire match, yet still a tie. So Cuck able to play the objective maybe a little bit more, uh, get a little bit smart, more smart with the placement of their players in the end there in order to uh, to get the tie. But it is important to note that if uh, if we do go to a tie in the second half as well, we will go to kills. And right now it does look like that would be favoring SMW. Looks like it is live, as what well. we, we do actually live. have. We do actually have the CP attacking first this time, since uh, that's what we did in the first half. So just to keep it fair, both halves uh, remain the same. Uh, it's, a, it's it's it doesn't make much of a difference which team attacks first. We just use Entente as an arbitrary thing, but we can use uh, we can use CP attacking first in both halves as as long as it's the same. Really, is the important thing. That's the important thing. Yeah. But uh, Cut getting off to a good start here, having cleared the right side, it's going to be Banshee to try and have to retake it. And he does take out Requiem of Light, but we're going to have three more Cut players coming in here. Doom Drinker, Black Hand, and Dragon Ken pushing into the right side. Gonna it does up seem uh, like SMW's one squad, the, the left squad here, is, is a bit stacked. They've got Fabian, Arcana, uh, and... Uh, and Overlord there, three of their big standout players all playing right next to each other. Yes, definitely, and, and their roster are going to be maybe a little bit stronger now, bringing in Fernando, who was a player who's played with them in the Latin American uh, team for the American Nations Cup, uh, but we didn't see him much during the regular season of the VCL, so it'll be interesting to see how he plays. He might be a little bit out of practice. We'll have to see, but Cuck pushing into the middle of the map now, but Arcana sort of sneaking by Requiem of Light. Going to take on Arcana here and go down to it. I'm interested to see what weapon Arcana is using, actually. Um, Arcana using that next. shotgun. Is that is that is that common in competitive play to see, uh, to see a shotgun like that? It happens every once in a while, but it's certainly a very strange choice on this map, as uh, we do see a lot of openings on this map and a lot of open areas. But Arcana, of course, a close quarters specialist, so if anyone can figure out ways to get into those close quarters fight where that shotgun will be effective, Arcana is definitely the player to do it. So I would say if it was anyone else, it would be a strange choice, but for Arcana, I'm not too surprised. We've got SMW. Uh, once again, they seem to be uh, splitting trenches uh, almost up the long way uh, on the map. Uh, rather than fighting it out uh, from one side of the trench to the other, they're almost splitting them in half and fighting down the lanes from each other. That seems, is that is that uh, something that occurs ha commonly on this map? Yeah, I'd say it's probably the most common thing that happens on this trench. Just the way it's designed, it sort of works as, as lanes and sort of long range, range fights. Obviously, are kind of going to have some trouble with it. Uh, well, something I'd like to see some more, for, especially from a player like Arcana who needs to get close range, is to flank on that outer lane that we see less people in, and if he can get in and, and do some damage, that would be uh, the way for him to do it. 
we've got Cuck the Black Hand uh, trying to make some moves on that right side. Um, SMW Danielle uh, hold up in that in that back half of the trench where uh, SMW has really been hold up most of the match. Um, still waiting on on one of these teams to break through that other side. Yeah, and this is definitely a map where we can see a lot of a, a bit of a stalemate in this trench, especially when we have two teams that are this closely uh, matched in skill. As it's very easy for one team to get control of one lane and the other team to get control of the other, but it does seem like Cuck have total control of the trench now. So SMW going to have to push in from this spawn on the right and see if they can have some success. And they are they are doing a pretty good job so far. Not many of them going down and being able to take out some of the Cuck players. Some grenades going down might take out Arcana there, and it does. But Overlord pushing up, taking out a few players. CPU pushing as well. Dragon's Ken now the only one on this side of the trench, so SMW might be able to flip the script and take control of this trench. Oh, and good timing for them. They immediately spawn on the other side, so they might be able to throw Cuck off guard by pushing on one side and then immediately on the other. But Black Hand's going to spot them, and he's going to go down pretty quickly, though, after just getting just one kill. And this is going to be back back to what we saw earlier with SMW on the left and Cuck on the right. Uh, we just saw Who Am I Blowing, who was spending most of the match way back in these hills. Um, he has uh, finally come up and got into the action, uh, actually into uh, the trench, uh, maybe giving up on that picker roll. Uh, whereas we see Arcana getting back into the game with his shotgun, um, especially in a match that it seems like there is just about the entire game, uh, there is uh, close quarters fights in this in this trench. Uh, it seems like that is going to uh, favor Arcana's close range skills. Yes, most definitely, uh, and still still a very back and forth. Cox still holding on a little bit here. Uh, they, they were able to get that momentum, which gave them more time to attack. Actually, no, wait. Did Cuck capture the trench? Sorry, I didn't the see Cucks that. Cuck did I, capture that trench, yes. That That's a big shift, because Cuck controlling this trench now, that means that SMW are the ones on the offensive who have to capture this, and it does mean that Cuck will be getting those favorable spawns, too. SMW uh, now um, not only losing this half, uh, but this also puts them at a one-point disadvantage um, for the game. So if, if Cuck can hang on to this, they take home that third place prize. Yes, and SMW, we're seeing a little bit less firepower from them than we saw perhaps in the first match. Banshee and Fabian not doing quite as much uh, work as they were before. Arcana still doing well, though, using that shotgun. Eight kills so far. But it, it's kind of the reverse of what we saw before. We see sign of some standout players from Cuck and a more even across the board for SMW. But SMW are going to recapture the trench. We are back to a tie game and a tie match. Uh, yes, yes, again, yes. folks, if this uh, if this stays tied and we go into uh, the end game, uh, no one taking the advantage. It comes down to kills, uh, which at the end of last game definitely favored. Uh, SMW. Uh, we will see how the numbers shake out at the end of this one. Um, but I know both teams would definitely rather have um, just rather take the point rather than uh, make the admin pull out the calculator here. <laughs> yes, exactly. Most certainly that would be preferred. Um, and, and you know, there's a it never feels quite as satisfying to get a victory by uh, kills than it does to get a victory by trench captures, uh, for sure. It's definitely, uh, you know, feels more dominant when you go in more clear of a victory when you're able to capture those trenches. Looks like we had a cuck player uh, drop out for a second. It may have been a lag issue, uh, which is something that definitely plagued the SMW team yesterday. Uh, it doesn't seem like we've had many... Uh, connection issues uh, with this, uh, you know, largely spread out team speaking different languages, things like that, that makes it a little tougher for them to get on the same page. Um, but still, um, uh, matching uh, matching the cucks uh, shot for shot here. Oh yeah, without a doubt, it's amazing how uh, well have SMW been able to to perform in not just this tournament, but in the last couple tournaments they've participated in, considering the language barriers and the internet connection barriers they have to go through. And, and we're really happy to finally see, you know, an organized sort of South American team uh, playing in, in a lot of these matches. 
But it's still back and forth now. SMW with the right side and Cuck with the left. That just seems to be the story of this match is one team will get control of one side, one team gets control of the other. Every once in a while, a team will take the whole trench, but it doesn't usually last very long. And that's a great artillery strike from whom I'm blowing. Going to take out three players from SMW. That could be uh, the push that the Cucks need here. If they can get a couple more kills, they could really turn this fight. And starting to cap the trench are the Cucks. Getting to about 25% uh, just now. Banshee left all alone in that corner as he's oh and he spawns in two teammates and four more on the way We got Arcana Danielle CPU and Storm Ginger all spawning on that right side Cucks just could not capitalize quick enough there And they're gonna push in a little bit too aggressively and lose two of their players without really making any trades Who am I blowing now gonna have to hold down the middle part of this map and he's gonna go down to Arcana Some nades going across that middle area. Doing some damage. And it's a very back and forth match right now. It is. Uh, this, uh, this has definitely lived up to what we were hoping for. Um, we are still at a tie game, uh, reaching the halfway point with about 15 minutes left. Um, Storm Ginger CPU and Danielle taking back that far side of the trench. And Requiem of Light may not realize that he is right in the middle of some shit right now. Yeah, he's gonna just try and stay prone. He's in some dead bodies hoping to spawn the rest of his team. He may be difficult to spot, but oh. CPU is gonna spot and he him. Goes. And that's gonna be a cap for SMW. Now on the attack of the enemy trench for the first time in this game and if they can capture that that will be a good chance for them to win this match 14 minutes left on the clock a lot can happen in that amount of time and we do see that white phosphorus coming in that's a gas that does a little bit of damage not quite as good as the um, uh, gas but it is a smoke and it does come in more often so We'll be interested to see how they use that and whether they use it to affect. They do drop it there, cutting off some crossfires from Cuck, allowing them to get into that right side. Overlord, Fabian, and Fernando in there now. Who am I blowing? Going to be coming up behind them, though. Hopefully Fabian can notice him here. He's going to spawn in down and going, uh, it seems to be peeking into their spawn area more so than he is uh, looking over into uh, the, the far side of the trench where he should be focusing his fire. And this is a good attack from SMW. They're gaining some control here. SMW might take a one-point advantage here if they can hold this trench. And some good grenades coming in from Requiem of Flight, but it doesn't quite connect. And Blackhand going to take out Overlord. But we do still have control of this right fortification by SMW. And they're going to keep spawning in their teammates there. And a lot of cuck down... We, it seems like a battle of the forts right now, firing across the trench. Some players pushing up, but for the most part, and it does look like we will be seeing an assault by SMW coming from the flank. So if they can keep Cat, Cuck distracted long enough, focusing on that right side so that they can push up the middle and do some damage. But it doesn't seem like it's going to work. Looks like Cuck is aware of what is going on. They'll lose a few players, but they will maintain control of that side of the map. Danielle and CPU pushing up, Arcana watching the flank. He's going to have to spot Blackhand here, which he does not. And as we know, not great communication here for SMW, so he's going to be able to get behind and distract them a lot while Dragons can cleans them up. And that's going to be the foothold lost for SMW. One minute now for them to get another one in order to make that foothold over time or get that capture. Every second that uh, every second that ticks by means that kill count is going to matter a little bit more, and it looks like the Cucks have a higher overall total with uh, with Who Am I Blowing leading the game with 28 kills, second place uh, tied between Fabian and Overlord over on SMW with 22. Yeah, definitely Who Am I Blowing helping Cuck out if it does come to that deciding tiebreaker.
SMW but is trying to charge that hill. Uh, we'll see if Who Am I Blowing is able to take him out on the way. It looks like Who Am I Blowing is uh, landing some really nice shots. Although Banshee, Banshee has gotten close range. Able to get in, and if he can take out Who Am I Blowing, which it does seem he's able to do, Requiem of Melee Light. kill. He's going to take prone there and just hope to maybe spawn some of his team. Maintain. He has to maintain guys. that foothold over time. If he dies right now, so dies SMW's chances at attacking that trench, and he does go down. Cucks have an opportunity on the counterattack here. And they SMW have SMW mid retreat. They, they cap this trench early before SMW is going to have a decent defense set up. Black Hand might be able to get in that right hand trench without much of uh, resistance. But Fabian is probably going to spot him. He takes out two players farther back. But do they know that Black Hand is this close? Fabian knows, but CPU will go down. But he goes down in the end. Good play there from Banshee to trade his teammates. And Zifos pushing on this le left side. So a good airplane bomb from Doom Drinker does actually take out Danielle. Leaving Arcana the only one on this far left side. Requiem of Flight might want to get a little bit more aggressive here. We have yet to see a, uh, a gas bomb uh, yet in this match. We saw more than a few in the previous half. Uh, do you see do you see that uh, that switch being useful for them, or should, uh, do you, do you think uh, somebody should uh, go for that go for the gas bomb that really takes out a whole section of the map? Well, I think really that second squad choice is really just to find something that Arcana is comfortable with because not being a traditional rifle player. They want to get him one of his specialty weapons that he can do well with because he can be a very effective player when he gets rolling with those specialty weapons. Not doing so well here with the shotgun, I might, they might want to consider switching to the Doughboys and using that BAR. Maybe he would be more effective with that. It's a little bit more similar in skill set to that MP18 he was losing, using last round. But they're going to stick with it for now. Cux on the offensive here, uh, pushing up near Dragon's Ken. Once again, we are we are shooting down those lanes. Danielle getting another spawn uh, for CPU down at the far end of the trench, opposite side of Cuck. We'll see if uh, someone's able to break the mold here. And Storm Ginger going in, taking out two players. Record on a flight and Dragon's Ken there to clear out that side of the trench. Good play by Storm Ginger. He's got to kill a couple more here. He takes down Hachi Man, sees who am I blowing, going to be... Much more difficult opponent than the ones he's faced so far. Definitely one of the better long range shooters on that cuck side. So SW gonna uh Storm Ginger gonna fall back for a second. Wait for some reinforcements to come in. Looking at a four on one for Storm Ginger here. Yeah, he's gonna be in trouble and Doom Drinker's gonna mm. take him out straight away, not even. Caught him on the blind up. side. Yeah. Now should uh should SMW have sent a little help there? I know they've uh they've had a little bit of trouble with communication in the past, so it, it could have just been that that message never got over to him that hey man, you're all by yourself. Uh, but is that something that SMW should have sprinted over there for? Perhaps, but also it has to be considered that SMW, right now SMW are probably playing for a tie. They want to really hold this trench and make sure that Cuck don't cap it. So they may just say, hey, we're going to sacrifice this one player so we can get the rest of our reinforcements in the trench on the safe side. Just to ensure that we don't lose this cap to Cuck. So that could be, that could be their mentality or it could have just been a lack of communication. It's hard to say. But Ziphos making a big run behind enemy lines here, going to be taken out by Fernando. Fernando was trailing him for a while. That was actually <laughs> pretty funny to watch. <laughs> really wanted and, that melee kill. And and good job repelling the enemy team by S and W. They're going to get to go on attack again here. And Tuck not having much of a defense set up. Good chance that uh, a CPU and Arcana can get up into this far left side with only Doom Drinker and Requiem over there. Less than eight minutes left in the game. Uh, are you seeing any uh, any change up in strategy on the way here, or does someone just gotta just gotta keep uh, picking away at this until somebody finally gains an advantage? Because this is a really quote close match. It really is, really is. And uh, SMW gonna want to try and push up here and cap, but a lot of them die. Unfortunately, the side they decided to push is also the side where the majority of the cock reinforcements did spawn. So not. Getting off to a good start here for SMW on the attack. And Cock and able to set up a strong defensive line. Who am I blowing? Still leading the game with 37 kills, having a really strong so showing in this match overall. 
if it comes down to kills, he may be the reason that the Cucks uh, catch up in that category. Though this left side is clear, and Fabian going to push in. Fernando might as well. Some good distraction going in on that right side, allowing Fabian to get into this forest. But there is going to be a spawn over there for Cuck. But they might Laban, not be aware. Zephos and uh, Doom Drinker uh, are going to have to retake that trench. And now Overlord and Banshee have joined Fabian over there. Yes, three of the strongest players for SMW getting in there. Going to have some success and clear that side of the map. Only who am I blowing left in the middle here, and he's going to get sandwiched. So that's control of the trench for SMW, but there is going to be a quick spawn here on this far left side. It's going to be down to Fabian, Arcana, and Danielle. Overlord should be getting up in a crossfire, but just that lack of communication, he has no idea that they're pushing into that side of the map until it's too late. Cucks are clustered up over there. If we, if we see an airstrike, they are in trouble. Good play from Overlord and Arcana, though, to take down a bunch of these Cuck players. Danielle, and gonna, yeah. And it's going to be... 75% cap so far for SMW. They could capture this trench relatively quickly if they continue to keep the majority of the cuck players out as they have been doing. Overlord, again, looking in the wrong direction. Maybe not great communication coming out of this SMW team, but they are going to cap. I think they were just trying to stay alive until they can cap, and now they can be a little bit more aggressive. Though they do want to make sure that they don't let cuck recap. They want to maintain this trench for the next five minutes. SMW taking that two to one now, uh, that puts a huge amount of pressure on the Cucks to take this and take this soon. Uh, if they want to push this to a third match, oh, excuse me, we're not doing a third match. If they want to push this uh, to the kill count, uh, the tiebreaker being the kill count, that is what they got to do and they yeah. have to do it in the next five minutes. Yes, they do. And it's. Ver I, I don't think it's going to be possible for Cuck now to uh, win this match by trench cap. They're going to have to try and push it to a trench cap tie so they can go to kills. And Blackhand, look at this. Look at this position he has behind SMW. He's not going to be able to take very many of them down, though. Good communication there by SMW. Improving in that area. And yeah, Laban not, has go. not been a strong suit for this uh, for this SMW team in the tournament. But every once in a while, they are able to nail it. And, and it's, it's, it's just awesome how, how well they play despite some of their communication issues. It's, it's just a testament to From some time of their to time, a couple players on their team will actually speak the same language <laughs> and be able to warn each other of such things. <laughs> exactly. And it's, they're doing a good job of holding on this trench. Cuck might be feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit worried here about having to go to kills. Not maybe confident. They know that first half. SMW definitely had a lead in kills, so. But before they even have to worry about that, they do have to capture this. And they have spawned a few more players in on that left side, but the right side still, and the middle as well, still dominantly held by SMW. Dragon's King. Dragonkin has an opportunity here to really take the fight if he can take out these two. And Not going to well, happen. CPU going to take him out. Good play from Arcana getting in these close range fights. Going to be able to take out Zephos. But Requiem of Light going to come behind him. Good flank here by CPU though. And good Black play by charging Danielle. And that's going to be CPU and Arcana clearing that left side. Good by them. But Hachiman going to get in the middle here. And Black Hand. They're not aware that Danielle is over here. So she's just going to remain sitting behind enemy lines. She, sh yeah. She is probably going to try and get a spawn in here. Or just wait for someone to walk up unsuspected like that and take out Blackhand. Mm -hmm. Blackhand goes down without knowing where that shot came from. Ooh, my blowing still climbing uh, with 43 kills, although Fabian has jumped back up there with 36, uh, which is going to help them if this comes down to a tiebreaker. Which, right now, SMW doing a good showing of it, making it look like it might not have to go to that. Cuck just barely starting to cap the trench, but... Looks like SMW are going to get more players in before they have a chance to really make much headway in that. Great fighting here down this long trench from SMW. Coming out on top. Blackhand gets a kill, gets two there. SMW at this point just seems to really need to avoid that big mistake uh, where they're all clustered up and get taken out all at once by an artillery or something like that. Anything short of, uh, of, of a big goof, uh, I think it's going to work. Um, I, I think means uh, SMW takes this. Yeah, they're just going to start playing very passive and sort of defensive, just trying to make sure that Cuck don't get that capture that they really, really need. And seven players in the trench right now for SMW. They're going to try and keep it that way so that it's very difficult for Cuck to get that capture going. That go 
going on. And Arcana on the flank in the no man's land. Kark might not suspect this. He's gonna throw some grenades in. Maybe make it in with that shotgun. He's gonna get taken out by some good artillery there though. From whom I'm blowing. Artillery in that middle area. Just trying to give his team some space to get in there and maybe cap and they might they are capping right now at about 40 percent getting closer to 50 now Huck might so be able can to make a push here and kill overlord and banshee hold up in that back end they might be able to take it here although fernando and fabian just so a good grenade over there well they, they might need one more oh and a good push here on this left side by smw i think is going to save them Wow, it was getting close to a capture there for... They Huck. they flanked each other at the exact same time, and SMW just barely came out on top, having uh, having taken that other side, right as SMW was losing the other side. And if they can kill Laban here... And look at that, they're now going to get the chance to attack. It is now impossible for Cuck to win this match. That's a win for SMW. They're going to be taking third place in the North American Verdun Championship. That is going to be $200 in prizes uh to the smw team we'll see if uh the games they get are region locked or not <laughs> hopefully not considering they are quite a diverse <laughs> crowd indeed uh the cucks uh came through with a really impressive showing in this tournament um they uh they won uh two of their games i believe in in that group stage uh including uh, a win against smw Yes, so not a disappointing performance for Kike, especially considering it was their first competitive event. Uh, definitely showing that they have some skill and, and with some improvement and maybe a few roster changes, they can definitely become a very strong team. We are in the last seconds here, and guys, I cannot wait for that championship game. Congratulations to SMW, our international friends, coming into the North American Championships and taking third place great work guys you put on a great performance all throughout the tournament uh the cucks uh living up to their name uh by uh with the shit talk and the whatnot but again <laughs> a very entertaining performance from these guys uh the cucks uh thank you so much for participating in the tournament this was a blast um smw once again great work uh guys in twitch uh, stick with us. We have the big one coming up. Uh, SMW taking third place here, but the grand final uh, coming up in just a few minutes uh, with some of the very best Verdun players in the world. Stick with us. We'll be right back.